Hello and welcome to EucreMedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today we're giving away a free timer rig for both Premiere Pro as a motion graphic template called Mogurt and also for After Effects as a preset. So without any further ado, let me show you what it looks like in Premiere first. All right, so we are in Premiere and for this example, I have a very basic setup, just a sequence here with an image and we're going to live in this essential graphics panel. Now, if you're not seeing this, go to window and make sure you have this essential graphics checked. And if you have it checked, chances are it's somewhere in your layout, usually on the right side of your screen. So in here, we're going to go to browse. Again, make sure you download the motion graphic template and then unzip it. Install the motion graphic template by clicking on this icon, then select it. And once you go through that process, search for it like I have timer and then you'll see it in here. So that's the motion graphic template for Premiere. And then you click and drag on it and put it right into your timeline. And there you have it. All we see just this text. If you press play, you can see it's working. Now, I know it looks simple, but it is rigged up. It does have a lot of advanced features. So to get there, just click on this motion graphic template and then it's going to take you to this essential graphics here. And instead of browse, we're going to go to edit. So that's where all the options live. We're going to start out with these fonts options. So you can select a different font, right? You can also adjust the weight in here and so on. So you can play with that and you can you know, make it bold and all that stuff. You can also adjust the size and you can move it around. Like let's move it downwards like so. So that's pretty basic. And then you get to the timer options. Now these are a lot of fun. So that's where a lot of the stuff happens. So in here we have start and end. Now notice it is in seconds. So right now it starts at zero and then it ends at six. So it's kind of like a timer, right? It, or like a stopwatch. It works kind of the same. So it, it starts at zero and then it goes all the way to six and it stops. So you can control that and you can say, let's go to 10 seconds. And then exactly at 10 seconds, it's going to stop which is great. Now you can reverse that. You can say, hey, start at 10 and then stop at zero. And then it's going to start at 10 and then go downwards to zero, which can be useful. All right, let's go back to where we were. Now, then we have this rate option. This rate option has to do with the speed. So right now, if it's set like at one, it's going to be like the standard, right? It's going to match the time code here. So you can see at six, it becomes six. So that's, that's great. But sometimes you want to speed it up. You can say, Hey, let's double this. And then now at three second mark, it becomes six, or you can say be five times as fast. And then it becomes really fast, right? So that can come in useful, but let's go back to one. And also we have these four check boxes. So those have to do with the way these look. So you can turn off milliseconds or turn it back on or seconds right? Seconds and then minutes and then hours. Now for some cases they come in very handy. So if you want to turn off like hours and maybe minutes, so something like that, maybe keep it at seconds, you know, that can be very helpful, but I'm going to check them back in. And then we have these color options. So by default, we get this color right here and you can change it by clicking on it. And uh, maybe let's try something purple ish, something like that. Okay. And we also have this option called color zone. Now I love this one. If you have it enabled, essentially the way it works, it kind of works the same way as we see it in here. So you have the starting point and then the ending point. And also we have this fade. Now the starting point is basically you're telling um, the stopwatch, Hey, at two seconds, you're going to switch over to this red color, whatever color you choose here. Right. And then you're going to go all the way to four seconds. And then after four seconds, you're going to go back to the default. So let's preview this. As you can see, it's purple. And then right at two, it's fully red. Now I know it fades a little bit because we have a fade option. So at two, it becomes fully red. And then at four is going to start fading out back to purple. So that's really cool. I'm sure this feature can come in handy in different things when you want to emphasize on, on certain areas when the time is running out. So you want to maybe go in red or something like that. I'm sure you'll find use for that. Now we do have a fade. So right now it kind of fades in, right? It has a pretty long fade, but you can say, Hey, B zero, and then it's not going to fade at all. So right now at two seconds is going to just switch. There you go. And then at four is going to switch back to purple. So that is it for premiere. Now let me show you what that looks like in after effects. All right, so let me show you how to bring in the timer into After Effects. The first, the most important step 
is to install the presets. So make sure you do that first. And once you've done that, go to Effects and Presets panel. And if you don't see this, go to Window and make sure you have Effects and Presets checked. Once you have it checked, you'll see it in here somewhere. And as you can see, there it is. Now, if you just installed your preset and you haven't restarted After Effects, you might want to refresh the list. And to do that, just click here and then refresh the list. And then next, what you want to do is search for the timer preset. So just type timer and you'll see it right in here. Now, before you double click on this, you want to make sure that nothing is selected in your composition. So once everything is deselected, then just double click here and you'll see a new text layer with all of these options in here and also in there as well. So I'm going to rename this to something like timer. And then the most important options are going to live in this effects controls panel. And the first two effects are fill. So make sure you don't erase them. Don't do anything with them. You don't have to adjust them. The options you're going to play with are in here. You'll see them all in here. And as you can see, they are identical to the ones in Premiere. So again, the same concept to start at the end, you can tell it to start at 10 seconds and then end at zero. And then it's going to start at 10 and at zero. So that's the same. You can speed up the rate, right? You can say double it and then it's going to double it. And you can also get rid of hours, minutes, seconds, and so on. Again, the exact same setup. You can do the same thing for the colors. So it's very identical. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you'll find this preset useful. And if you found this video useful, make sure you hit like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and also join our free online mentoring group at ukarmedia.com slash community. But until next time, my name is Sergey Praknevsky, and this is ukarmedia.com.